Hey, it's Peter Panico here, making another video. This is not my best video, but I just wanted to get this out real quick to help everybody on a concern that is floating around the internet and people are blowing it out of proportion, flipping and making everybody panic. So I just want to fix something and help you out on Zoom bombing. That's right. So this is the latest pandemic for all of us teachers, but it's no big deal. It's a minor, minor change that you have to make on your, on your account, and all your problems will be solved. Zoom bombing is when you're hosting a Zoom meeting, and all of a sudden someone posts something really inappropriate, and it kind of ruins the whole meeting. So first of all, you're not going to publicly share your Zoom account or your or your login to get not your login but you're you're not going to share the code for your parents or for your students to log in no you're not no you're not that's right you're not and most of you don't so I just want to make sure you do that on something pi private like uh, Google Classroom or an email but anyway you're going to go into your account like here and you're going to find the Zoom meeting that you want to work on in this case you go to your meetings and there's mine, there's my daily meeting at 11 o'clock every day. I'm gonna click that one and show you what you have to do to make some small adjustments. So from here, go to settings, totally on the left. There it is. And there's two things we're going to change. You're going to scroll down a little bit. Keep scrolling, just a little more. Keep going, a little more, just a little more, more. And there it is, you gotta change that see how I change mine off I do that one on purpose because I don't want the kids on before I get there and start going to talking about things they shouldn't be talking about I like to have control of my zoom meeting so I'm gonna keep that off so they have to join when I'm ready the second thing we're going to scroll down some more you'll see here it comes it's coming one moment there it is okay so right here we're going to only have the host sharing and that way no one else can share a video or an image on their screens and that will re reduce the amount of um, inappropriate things that might pop up. This, have, this gives you complete control of your meeting. So you're just going to click save and there you go. I'm going to enable this part here as well so that I also have more control. Click save so only I have power in my meetings. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to zoom back up. All right, we're going to zoom up, 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 up. And here we turn off file transfer. So nobody in the Zoom meetings can transfer files except for me. It's another way of limiting the amount of inappropriate things that might float around in your Zoom meeting. And that's it. Those two things will keep your Zoom bombing non-existent. So enjoy. Okay, name's Peter Panico. Check out my resources if you need me. See ya.